Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer. Sorry for the delay in not making any new videos, but we've been working hard on some maintenance projects and some new features and that kind of stuff. Um, so in this video, it's version 1079, which was just released today. And this version has fixed some long-standing little um, posting pinning issues, so everything's back to normal. And we also added a new feature, uh, which has been quite widely requested. Um, and this is the download images feature right here which essentially, as the name suggests, allows you to download checked images, watermark them, and then re-upload them back to Pinterest. Uh, this is very cool because one of the methods we can use here, we can scrape back all the popular images from Pinterest under women's fashion or decor or whatever, and um, download them all to our desktop, open the watermark you know, form here, watermark them all with our website URL and re-upload them back under a scheduled delay keep it very consistent, very legitimate, and very, very, very effective. So to start, um, I'm just going to run through all the basic functions. Um, first of all, hit manage, choose your account. Uh, my window's already open, so choose your account, and make sure your account is live and working. And to do this, just check your account or accounts, and hit account stats. Now if it's right, um, all these details would be displayed, so username, Pins, likes, followers, following boards, etc. So as you can see here, it's come up. Username, if all these things are displaying correctly, then your account can get logged into, is live, um, and it has no blocks in it, it has no you know, read-only blocks, the password isn't incorrect, um, and that kind of stuff. The reason I say this is because lots of people actually un un accidentally they put in like different passwords and you know the wrong credentials or their accounts are blocked and they haven't logged into them manually for a long time. So you know, it does, ends up not working, they become a little bit confused as to why that's the case. Now, if you hit account stats and everything's fine, you're good to go. Next, what you want to do is just um, type in go pins, and you have select new look, make sure new look is always selected. If your accounts aren't new look, it won't work, make sure they're upgraded to new look. Um, and press plus, it's going to load back your boards. Once your boards are loaded, loaded back I suppose they'll be listed here go to pins select pins and type in hashtag popular or even just yeah popular is fine for now or you can do any categories like you can do category names whatever you can search for keywords very exciting hit scrape and it's going to bring down a list of pins on the on the first page here we have 50 pins so what you can do here now just select a couple of them or select them all I'm going to select a couple, five. Then right click, download images. And this is very cool because it's very quick. It's going to go ahead and create a little folder on your desktop here, as you can see. And it's going to start saving those images into your folder. And once it's done, it's going to give you a little message saying images download to desktop. OK. If we go to the folder, you can see these are some images that are under the popular category right now. Popular means they have lots of um, repins or lots of comments, likes, etc. Now that we have these images, we can go back to the watermark button here, load pictures, and select them all, for instance. Watermark text. Um, let's just do software, software cynic. Okay, loaded five pictures. White generic preview, preview will look a little bit like this. So you can see what it's going to look like. Bottom right, I want it here. And let's make the width a bit smaller. Whoops. Yeah, leave it at 600. I'm not sure. Anyway, so you have your little thing here. You can change your colors, change your. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know? Blue. I think blue is a relaxing color. Nah, white. I'm not quite a designer myself, so I'm not too much sure. There you go. Okay, that's fine. Then what you want to do is hit Save Watermarked Images. And choose them somewhere not in the same folder. So desktop, for instance. That's going to save it. Now, if we go back, all our images are now watermarked, as you can see. Very cool. Um, these are some other ones. So, 
Then what we can do, we can go back, import pictures, and we can go. Where do we save these? We save them right here, right? So, the, the, like so. So four photos right there. I think there's a fifth somewhere, but um, here. Open. So import these five photos that we just um, watermarked. Select the board. I'm just popular. Add in the description if you want, or don't add in the description. This is a cool photo. This is a cool photo. You can add a source URL to point it back to your, you know, homepage, etc., etc., etc. Set a delay, maybe 15 seconds, and 25. And yeah, we're off to the races. Hit start pin, and now it's going to upload all these watermarked images. Um, in terms of actually saving them, what I said earlier was make sure the save location isn't the same location where your f initial photos are. Otherwise, it won't work. As you can see, it started uploading them successfully. If we go back, uh, we can refresh Pinterest. And as you can see here, bang. Now I can obviously um, change my source rail from within the program. There's a feature that will be um, updated shortly. But um, in the meantime, I'm just going to do this. It's because um, Pinterest changed something recently. so. The automatic source URL updates um, weren't as efficient, so we're just looking into that right now and should be fixed in a day. Uh, but you get the idea. So if we go back to Pinterest, it's uploading more, delaying, uploading, delaying, uploading, etc., etc., etc. Refresh the page, and we'll have another one. And as you can see here, there you go. Very effective watermarking. Play, play around with this as you want make your watermarks looking nicer, looking cleaner, whatever, I just did this on off a whim. But there you go, that's watermarking and downloading images in Pin Pioneer.